coffee that comes out of a cat's butt? I'm a little weirded out, but let's try it. Welcome back to Whole Brain Coffee. Hope you had a wonderful day, wonderful week, and a wonderful year. We're going to be trying a very special coffee, this Kobe Luwak coffee from Indonesia. This is a specialty coffee. This coffee is actually made by uh, feeding the beans to civet cats who then defecate out the beans. They are cleaned off, dry, and then they are presented for roasting. So this coffee quite literally came out of a cat's butt. Yes. but it is widely regarded as some of the finest coffee in the world. <laughs> At $200 a bag for the 16 ounce bag, it better be pretty exquisite. And so with specialty coffee from Indonesia, um, it actually was brought over by the Dutch in the 1600s. Um, who had then at that point been going through the East Indies and so they brought coffee along with them and then over time uh, these civet cats would eat the coffee from the plantations and they would just pick up the coffee and they would present it as normal wash it off and the shock came when they figured out the coffee itself was better instead of being worse. I wonder what was going through that first guy's head. Mm -hmm that decided I, to try this. I don't know, but uh, I guess that's with everything though, like milk. Too. Oh yeah, imagine milk, yeah. And, that's and, a weird one. And, and so with this too, what are some of the other weird options we discovered while researching this for um, defecant coffee? Well, that's a very, very polite way of saying it. Yeah. But it appears that human ingenuity in the world of, you know, <laughs> delicacies really knows no bounds. And no. You can find these beans coming out of all sorts of butts. Yep. It's a butt bean. Not just the civet cats. If you want to do your own research, you are welcome to. We yep. probably should move on to tasting these <laughs> we, things. We should do that. So what do you say we go ahead and get brewing? Let's get brewing. Let's get brewing. We are all brewed up and ready to go. Yes, and so actually brewing this coffee was a extremely pleasant and very satisfying process. I really enjoyed it. it. Now, we're gonna talk about the sight of the coffee beans and what we noticed about them. The beautiful. beans look perfect. It was beautiful, like the contents of the bean themselves, like between the ridges, the contents in between were just, it was full. They were very, very nice beans. Like I've, I've not seen any be more beautiful beans than those. May I have the privilege of pouring you the first cup. Thank you, I would greatly appreciate your chivalrous motion. With each step of part of the process, I've actually become really excited to try this coffee. I don't know about you, but cheers. Couldn't be more excited. The smell is incredible. It is extremely floral. It is fruity. It smells like a exotic tropical bouquet of flowers with some fruits mixed in there, some uh, peach, maybe even candied peach, um, grapefruit, kiwi, just an assortment of lovely smells from this coffee. It smells like you walked into a farmer's market with all fresh fruit. So a little bit of like earthiness to it though too, right? Like yeah, the... of course. And then in the middle of that fresh market, there was also a flower shop. Mm -hmm. And kind of the combination of all of those scents. It just smells rich on the nose. It's beautiful. My this olfactory is... receptors are dancing right now. Yes, this is actually, this might be the best coffee I've ever smelled, to be quite frank. It better be, at the price. True, it better be. Well, let's see how this cat did. Right. <laughs> let's see if it performed up to standard. I remember, remember a cat did this. I will say this about the coffee. I have never tasted a more, in a beautifully complex cup of coffee in my life, ever. I've had coffees that were upwards of $50. I've had many coffees from many different sources. Um, some 95 point coffees, 97 point coffees, etc. This coffee, is beautifully complex. It's like taking a very pleasant journey through each part of the palette. There's so much to analyze. I feel like I could just sit on my patio and keep thinking about what am I tasting? What am I thinking of? Like, what are my receptors 
analyzing about this coffee, it's just incredible, I honestly. I think it starts off in a very different manner than, than it finishes on the back of your palate. And it's so smooth. I think it starts off in a more, uh, more of a floral yes. direction, right? And some kind of maybe, you know, uh, blackberries, raspberries, right? Mm -hmm. But towards the end, you have that you have that earthy taste but it's not disruptive no not at all it's not disruptive it's very very smooth it's almost like a white tea honestly yep. in a lot of ways but towards the back with the yes towards the back but with a lot more complexity what you we were talking about with the floral um, aspects of it i get a lot of that up front but it's very pleasant it's not um, overly musky it's not sharp everything transitions extremely well very beautifully just every single aspect of the floral, the fruit, like a little bit of like the chocolate, the nougat, like on the back palate, the the white tea, just every part of it comes together and it's like a beautiful journey off on a slick. Yep. If, if you were in some foreign country and you just took a journey off on some side road and discovered this- a scenic, yeah. The scenic, scenic route. undisturbed area and you just spent half an hour walking through it, I just exotic flowers, smells you've never smelled before, things you've never tasted before. Maybe you stop and you just take it all in. It's this incredible scenery. It's like a Rembrandt painting or something. Like it's just, or a Kincaid painting. It's just all this scenery you take in. That, my friend, was an incredible, vivid description. Thank you. No, but it's And you usually, good. usually you don't go that hard into no. these descriptions, but wow. clearly this played an impression on you. $200 you think like that's absurd, that's that is, crazy, yeah. why do it? This is an experience, honestly. And I, I, I may sound like I'm exaggerating, but those of those those people out there who know me know that I mean every word. And I, I think that this really is the most remarkable cup of coffee I've ever had. And I don't know if I'll ever have another one like it. We sometimes like to discuss how the coffee makes us feel. Right. And I have a feeling that this is actually almost in a way kind of making you emotional, right? What it is actually, because there's so much to, because when you think of emotions and experiencing life through the senses, you know, you have tons of ups, you have tons of downs, you have days that are worse than others, you have days that seem like they couldn't get any better, and it, it feels like you've reached a certain point in your journey, and everything leading up to that point was well worth it, both good times and bad. That's how this cup feels. We could probably talk about this all day. So ratings. Let's move on, yes. yeah, let's yes. rate it. I would have to say that this is somewhere between a 9.5 and a 9.75. This is easily the best coffee on the show, period, wow. that we've had so far. Best coffee you've ever had, period? Best coffee yeah. I've ever had, period, and the best coffee brought on the show. I feel like this had such an impact on you that you know you, you, you went into poetry mode. So I've just been sitting here kind of listening to you, and I agree with every single word that you said. Thank you. This is the best coffee that I've ever had. Are there better coffees out there? Perhaps. Probably. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Perhaps. I mean, perhaps, you know. Now, would I drink this every day? If I could afford it, yes, I Yes, would. absolutely. <laughs> should you drink it every day? Probably not. You know, like anything fine in life should be enjoyed in moderation. Cherish it. Right? Cherished. Lest your familiarity become contempt, and then you cease to enjoy the things that you once enjoyed. Precisely. What would you give it in the whole brain scale? 9.5 all the way, which is pretty much perfect. Yeah. We're going to put a link in the description. Uh, if you sure. want to buy a bag of this coffee, Yeah. feel free to try them out. Kind of expensive, just a warning. Yep. But worth every penny, in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Click that like button. Comment below. Have you had this coffee before? I know a few people who have actually mm -hmm. got to experience it. Do you have any cats? Do you have cats? And would you dare try to give them <laughs> <Would> coffee you... <laughs> so you can generate this result? Don't do that. No, we, we're not advocating for that at all. So until that point, please do not give these beans to your cat. And in doing so, keep using your whole brain. It's like seeing a re like you know like an like one of your favorite artists and you get to finally go to the museum where his most memorable paintings are kept and you get to just walk up to it and look at it and you just experience that moment. I don't know, like you sit on a bench and look at a painting for like 2 hours yeah. like you're discovering like a new facet. Of like something. every brush stroke was placed intentionally. Right. And you kind of realize that. Yeah, well. That's immaculate. I mean it it literally I could sit here all day dissecting the palette, personally. Like, there's so much to it. There's it's everything. so complex. It's everything and nothing yeah. at the same time. Yep. Because it's so beautifully balanced. Like, picking it apart, like, you almost don't want to because you almost don't want to know 
Otherwise, it might like hinder your enjoyment of it. There's almost like a, there's almost to it. like a little bit of a bitterness to it. Even there's a sweetness and a bitterness and a smoothness and a, like a harshness almost. A little bit. Like it's just literally. Everything. It's everything. Like whatever you want it to be, that's what it is. Yeah. Which, True. You know. Well, to have such a wide palette to where there's nothing. There's nothing in the way or hindering it. Yeah. Like there's there's not one element overpowering it. It's like you said, it's whatever you want to see. Like when people look at the Mona Lisa, it's like, are you, is she smiling? Is she sad? Like what? It's what you wanted to be. What is it? Right. That's the genius of Da Vinci, bro. True.